guys and welcome to another one of my videos today is friday hence why i'm wearing my red friday shirt if you guys don't know what red friday is basically means you wear red red stands for remember everyone deployed and my shirt just says red fridays until they all come home i got these shirts done um where we're stationed but she ships out um anyways i'll leave her information down in the description box so you guys want to go check her out but yeah so today's video is going to be on care packages i've gotten questions on care packages just in general not only like military people asking me but like regular friends asking me so i decided that i would make this video and i'm gonna try to do step by step so that it's an easy video to follow step one would be to go to the post office and grab a box so you can either go to the post office and get a box like this these are their priority mailboxes and these are free um you can go pick them up and take them home and do whatever you want to do with them and then take them these boxes have flat rate it doesn't matter the weight of the box they all have like a flat rate so i think the large ends up being like $17 to ship out but if you do take like a regular cardboard box that's not priority mail you can still make that priority mail but those boxes end up being charged for whatever weight it is that the box weighs so yeah just a little info out there they do have different sizes this is a size large so this is a large flat rate box and this is what it looks like obviously this like folds down and stuff and there is this like service thing on the usps the postal service website where if you are in the military or your significant other is in the military you can order this kit so this is what it looks like and then it's free and you just put your address and you get it sent to your house what you end up getting is six boxes tape labels and forms so basically everything you need to make a box a care package you get at your at your door which is pretty cool but i don't do that because i live at my mom's and there's not a lot of space for a bunch of boxes so i just go by the post office and pick up a box this one my friend had extra so she brought it to me but yeah so that's the first step um step number two would be to I'd say gather the materials that you will need for your care packages. For example, scissors, tape, or any decorative things that you want to do. So by the decorative pieces, what I mean is, like for example, I try to do a theme for every care package that I sent out. And this one, there's not really any holidays coming up so my best friend is pinterest so i just go on pinterest and i searched up spring themed care packages because it's spring right now and there's not really anything other than spring happening and i really really love this one i really love what this one says it says i can't wait to spring into your arms you see how that one's like kind of easter theme but easter already passed so it's basically just spring theme so what I did is I went to the Dollar Tree or you can use stuff you already have at home. For example, I already have all these scrapbooking sheets. What I do with the scrapbooking sheets is I cut them to the size of these flaps to cover these portions so that it doesn't look like a boring package. But since all these are like girly scrapbooking papers because that's my daughter's scrapbook stuff, um, I went to the Dollar Tree and I got these poster boards which i've never bought before but everything at the dollar tree is a dollar and these were five for a dollar so i got neon pink neon yellow i mean neon green neon yellow neon orange and orange i got these poster boards and they will cover up what i need them to cover up um i got these little sticky notes because i like to put uh, sticky notes like little quotes or punts on every single thing that I put into the package I usually just write what I need to write but I thought letters would just be neater and easier did you say easier? <laughs> I got these stickers just because they were so funny these are like what are these like meme stickers? are they memes? I don't know but they're like novelty stickers and they're really cute but anyway so yeah i would say step two would be gather the things to decorate and step three would be listen out to your 
significant other or friends little hints like my husband was like low-key telling me that he wanted what did he want no he wanted a bunch of things so he would like low-key say like hey i kind of need this or i need that or i would really like to have this so just like make like either a mental note or a physical note start writing down things and start getting them slowly so that it doesn't feel like a huge halt at your bank account yeah so i'd say like slowly start buying things until you accumulate it enough to send i think the last step would be to actually well make it and then send it so i'm just gonna show you guys what i'm going to send my husband and i will not post this video until he receives this package so that he doesn't see it obviously every care package is different i kind of like to go with whatever he wants or needs and then i add a little bit of what i think he would enjoy um but first of all he started working out so he's in need of workout clothes so i got him a couple workout shirts i got him this red one i got him this blue one. Oh, it is the right way right here. it's like super see-through can you see my face i can see the camera it's super see-through um i got him this other workout shirt so I got him three workout shirts and then this fourth one he already had he just didn't take with him so I'm just gonna send it to him which I don't even think it fits him because it says it's a size small but he likes to think he's a size small and then I got him two like regular shirts because you guys every time I call him he's wearing the same coca-cola shirt and I'm like did you take any other shirts and he's like yeah but I don't think so but anyways I got him this other like regular shirt just so he can get out of that coca-cola shirt and then this is like from his work from his last deployment and he saw me wearing it and he asked for it because he has like three so this is like a clean one but it's from his command so those are the shirts I got him and then I also got him these muscle shirts just because I don't know I guess now that he's working out he wants to show off his arms so got him these he's never even worn these so i'm pretty sure he's gonna be like mm. and they weren't that expensive they were 10 bucks for a pack of four so if he doesn't wear them it won't be that bad i guess um he also asked for underwear so i got him some underwear huh? <laughs> i got him this gel because this is the gel he uses it's mexican so he can't really find it anywhere so i have to send him some he didn't tell me he needed some but he did tell me he he cut his hair off like he has hair at the top of his head and he like shaved it off not super shaved, but he told me it was because he was running out of gel. So I don't know if he like low-key told me that or he like messed up his hair and didn't tell me or I don't know. But anyways, I'm sending him his gel and then I found this super cute like mini version and I just thought it was cute. So I got it for him. I got him these donuts are like his favorite donuts and he has no idea. And I honestly feel like he's going to be so excited for them, but I don't know. And then I just got him these like peanuts that go like good when you like drink beer which he's not really like a person that eats this kind of things and drinks beer but when like i drink beer i like to like munch on little snacks but i'm still saying them for him to him just because so i went to mexico and i saw these shot glasses but like i said he's so picky so i didn't want to buy some and then him not want them so i saw them and i right, right away thought about him and his friends so I called him up and I was like, hey, would you like this for your friends? And he's like, yeah. So I didn't go back to Mexico because I was busy, but my mother-in-law did us the favor of getting them. So there are these like shot glasses from Mexico and they're boots, like Mexican boots. I thought they were pretty cool for him and his friends. So yeah, she got five, so four for his friends friends and then one for him and it's like they're pretty cool this is what they look like aren't they cool they're pretty heavy and i'm scared to drop them but anyway so i'm gonna have to wrap these up really 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 good so in his last deployment it took about two and a half weeks to receive his care packages and i haven't sent a care package yet but my mother-in-law did and i got there in a week so it's faster but i'm still not gonna send like i want to send him some chocolates but I'm not even going to risk it because in the transit, it can get really, really hot or really, really cold. Like, there's no um, air control 
so yeah so i wouldn't recommend sending chocolates or stuff like that you can try i would recommend putting them like in a ziploc bag or something like even if they're in a bag put them in a ziploc bag just in case they do melt and they do leak through they don't mess up the other things in your box and the last thing i have is gum for him and my mother-in-law is going to give me more stuff to put in here but i just wanted to get started on this care package so yeah let's start decorating i'm going to show you guys what i'm going to do i'm not even sure yet other than that picture that i showed you guys i have like my crafty box in here all myself but i don't think i'm going to use much other than glue the last thing i didn't even say but i got this card just because every time i send him a package i write him like a letter or like a note and this was just a dollar fifty at marshall's and it was pretty cute so i decided just to get this it's a blank card and then i'm just gonna write in here instead of writing like on a random piece of paper here's to the best birthday yet what it said it was blank oh well i just scratched that out it says inside is blank <laughs> that's what it says here inside is blank but anyways let's get started on this video all right guys so to start off i'm taking this piece of paper and i'm tracing out the flap just so that i know that it's gonna for sure cover the entire flap and i'm gonna put all the papers together and then cut them at the same time just so it's easier and faster to do So I didn't like how all of the bright colors were looking together so I decided to cut up one of my daughter's scrapbooking papers which was the ice cream one and I think it's really cute because it goes with the spring theme and I'm just showing you this glue this is a all multi-use glue that I use to glue everything down and this is what it looks like all glued down and secured. And then these are what the, sh what the shot glasses look like. Like the the newspaper wasn't enough, so I decided to wrap them like one more time with this. But oh, it's like not how I want it. It's like not well packaged at all. I'm going to start folding Jonathan's clothes in there and put the shot glasses between the clothes and just hope and pray that they don't crack because they are made out of glass. Like this is not well packaged at all, but I don't have stuff to package them. So... We're just going to hope that they get there in one piece. But yeah, I'm going to start folding the stuff and putting it in here. Okay, so, so far I put two shot glasses in this bag of tank tops. And there's just one shirt down there. And that's why that looks really puffy. And in here I rolled one shot glass. And in this other shirt I rolled another shot glass. Now I only have one shot glass left. And we're going to make everything fit, you guys. So I want to start off by apologizing for not recording the final result with Jonathan's package. But I will try to have him FaceTime me when he opens it. And hopefully you guys get to see what it looks like. I did put sticky notes in every single item that I put in the box for him. But yeah, so now moving on to the last step is going to the actual post office. So for Jonathan, he is overseas, uh, he's deployed, so I have to fill out a customs form. This is not the case for everyone, but for me, this is what I have to fill out. You can always go to a postal service, postal office, and ask them what you need to send a package. If it's within the U.S., you probably don't have to do this. Um, but yeah, this is the final step to me sending a care package. I just fill out this custom form, and then wait in line, pay for it to get shipped, and that is it. So far it's taken a week to get there, so hopefully this one gets there within the next week and I'll get to FaceTime him hopefully when he opens it and then I'll put that Jones. video in here and then yeah. I'll actually upload the video. Yeah. Okay. It is currently 2 in the morning here. It's 5.40 here. 5.40 p.m. over there. Did you put a... I think I might have cut through the paper that you put. Wow. Sorry. I was trying to go under it, but I 
I tried doing it, but let me see it. I tried doing it. Um, <laughs> she moved. It was so funny. Yeah. It looks really good. I can see the toes. Cheers, mate. <laughs> wow, Sophie. Sophie did that? Yes. You had it right? Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. She was stabbing the crap out of the paper. <laughs> love it, baby. I love you. How much? <laughs> love you, baby. You do so much for us. Thank you. You too. Not just me. Okay, let's start with that. Oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> I hope they're so good. Hell no. I have not had these in forever, and that's exactly what you put. <laughs> yeah. What? I looked at them at the store the other day, actually, and I saw them. I oh, they them. have them there? <laughs> they have, well, they don't have these specifically, but they have some. And I was, like, super tempted to buy them, but I was like, nah, I'm not going to like them, because they only like these. Yeah, Dang. he's Jonathan so picky about his freaking they're so good let's try them out they're don't good. they're so good <laughs> don't they smell delicious i bought myself a bag and i ate it <laughs> mm. oh my gosh yep they're so good <laughs> the seal was broken did you open this one yeah to take out the air oh that makes sense yeah yeah i nothing fit in there Spot. I hate the spot. And then, because, okay, this is from, from Anna. <laughs> my only gel, if you're wondering why I don't have hair, it's because I was running out of gel. So it's just easier I to. I know. I told them either off. you really messed up your hair or you needed gel. No, I, I only brought two of these bottles, two of the bigger bottles. Um, and I figured. I was running out of my first one. I didn't want to use the second one until the second part of deployment, which is coming up in two weeks. So I cut it off a month. Mm -hmm. What it was like? A month. Well, I don't know. Just so I can go back in a month and start using it again. But now I can just start using it again. But I just have to wait for the hair. So I'm kind of neat. Next, super cantinero. Para las sequías. They're like beer. Snacks. I've never actually had like snacks. I know, everything you're saying is exactly what I explained for each no, thing. Really? <laughs> yeah, I was like, he doesn't really eat anything while he drinks. I do, but he doesn't. But. That's pretty cool. I don't really. Uh, I don't have. Uh, I don't have those things right now. But it's probably who gets them. It. It, it is Friday. It is Friday. This is Anna's hand. Yes. It was supposed to be like a sun, but that required like four handprints, and I barely got that one. So <laughs> that was enough. That's, yeah, that's good enough. That's good. I like it. Ever since oh, this is a uh, same thing different. Yeah, more. But that, I probably like these better. Yeah, those are salty. The other ones are like yeah. spicy. That's nice. It's really see-through they are you see that yes i know i was like what the heck underwear. i was actually uh running out <laughs> because uh i overused them yeah i had to uh, take them out of the packet because the box didn't yeah. put in there uh okay yeah i'm there's no need to show those <laughs> are you embarrassed no i'm not 
know, but they're, those are mine. Okay, look at that. A shirt to dress nicely, but I don't dress nicely because I just wear gym shorts and a shirt. A shirt? A t -shirt. What shirt do you always wear every time I call you? <laughs> He's always wearing that shirt every time I call. Oh, you know what? At least I'm not wearing nice shirts. <laughs> true, okay, true. Nice. I'm not trying nice, to impress anybody nice over there. Wow, US Polo. I've never had a US Polo chip. Oh my gosh, shut up. What else? I mean, I've, I've had. I guess I have had. I like trouble. <laughs> what? I've also never worn these. Uh, yeah. Really? Tanks? Yeah. Tank? I ain't got no muscles, but according to the chubs, it's for the muscles. And there's something in here. Like, you're hiding drug deals. It looks like it. I'm hiding yeah, I'm, stuff for your friend. <laughs> oh, you did send me one of the deployment shirts? Yeah. I, I, I had said no, because it's the only one you had. No, I had, like, another one. I thought you only had the one. No, nice. I was I wearing know. the one, and then I looked through the drawers, and there was that one, so. Don't die. What? Oh my gosh, I'm trying to die. Are you trying to recruit people? <laughs> no, because it, yep, I said no to this shirt, but you got it anyways. Yes, because you're so annoying. Well, this one says, uh, let's see. Guess. I don't wear gas trouble. I don't care. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Uh, yes, I, don't know. I have so many shirts. I'm going to send you these back because I don't have space to send them. Shut back. up. Be appreciative. Okay, my best of or what? <laughs> <laughs> no. Thank you, baby. And the last and final shirt. You got me a shirt. No, you already that have that words one. in it. You already had the that exact one. word I don't do. Oh my gosh, you already had that one. I just sent it to you. I refuse to promote this. Me too. <laughs> I do not run. Matter of fact, this would be ironic. I like it. Thank you, baby. Wow. Wow. All right, and straight from Mexico. One, two, and there's a part down here. I knew it. I didn't even see this. I didn't even see this. Oh, you wrapped them up. Are they individuals or what? Yes. One of them. Anyways. One of them is yours and it says that it's yours. Oh, it specifically says it's mine. Oh, what color is it? I don't remember. So you chose mine for me? Oh, well, yeah, because I liked it the best. Buggle? I guess that's me. So that one. No, just for your friend. Duh. I should probably take them today. Take it to them today. I'm gonna go watch a movie. My G. Oh, it's They're actually pretty big. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, you're wild. I like it. Dang, Trumps. I thought they were like cheaply made they're actually badass yeah they're legit what the hell can i take that no oh. no they're like ours this is pretty fucking legit chubs <laughs> did you like your package yeah it's awesome it has a lot of cool things i think the donuts are the ones that are gonna go first <laughs> and we might they are pretty video. good i forgot how good they were um maybe i'll win some more money because we can play with money Oh, we should play with money. Loteria with money? I don't think your friends would be up for that. Uh, if they want to lose money, yeah, they would be up hmm. I will. This is so ironic. This is probably the best shirt so far. Just Wait, because I you already have that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, say bye to the video. All the way from the other side of the world. Wow.